Hello guys and welcome to part two of my look at regiments and the operational playtest. In this one we're going to be continuing with phase two of Operation Firebird which we started previously. Uh, if you want to check out my overall look at the game as well as how I played out phase one then make sure to go check out the previous video before continuing with this one but today we're going to be starting with the meta game here in phase two we've got to spend our operational authority before moving into the next battle which will continue basically from where we left off but what we're going to be doing here is basically adding more support or reinforcing ourselves so we've got a few things that we can spend our operational authority on we can of course spend it on deployment points supplies tactical support and engineer support uh, we can actually reinforce our individual units here. You can see I can add an extra one T64B1V for seven uh, points. Uh, I can add an extra two BMP2s, for example. I can, of course, upgrade my task forces to give us access to better units or tactical aid. So in this case, we can get uh, SU-22s if we upgrade Operation, or sorry, Task Force Damask. And I can also, of course, add a new task force completely. The thing what we're going to do is we're going to add more deployment points because being able to put more units on the ground at the same time is useful. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to probably upgrade the mask so that we can gain access to the SU-22 Napalm because I actually haven't personally tried that yet, so I would like to. And also it gives us an extra couple BMP-1 PKs in case our HQ section gets hit. So that's what we're going to spend our operational authority on for now. It's going to leave us with 50, and we'll spend that on one of these task forces once we get more from the next battle. So that's the plan. All right, with that all said, uh, let's click to events. Uh, we are going to probably choose the negative card, I think. We've got to use these within the next three battles. So I think this one will be used last, because even though we just picked up an SU-22 Napalm Strike, we're probably going to add more tactical aid the enemy psyops isn't actually that bad i don't think i haven't actually tried it maybe it's worse than it looks um and then the barrage tactical aid is nice so we'll probably use that in like the third battle and then this one in the fourth one so let's just use this one for now it's going to put us a bit of a negative for this battle but we'll try it out and see how it goes let's jump on in so all of my troop placement is going to be exactly where I left it from the previous phase and now I need to pretty much consolidate and carry on with what I was doing so I need to take hill 71 for the victory points and then I probably want to just get out of the map pretty much so yeah we'll focus on taking hill 71 first and then we'll push up to where and the next stage I might also try and push across maybe to some of these but I'm not sure we'll have the time because you only get 20 points or 20 minutes per phase so taking too many objectives is quite difficult like it's it's not something that you can do very easily and, and it will waste time uh, so you've got to be kind of concentrated and pick your objectives which is actually one thing I really like about this operations game mode it kind of kind of just can't play the whole map you've got to kind of concentrate in certain areas anyway with that said Let's get some extra troops down. We do also have a little bit of engineer support that I can use. So I might get myself a strong point. A strong point's probably better off in cover. So I'm going to put it as far on the edge here as I can. I don't know if it will let me put it there, no. But we'll put it like here, for example. And that's going to use up four of my engineer support. But it will give me like an entrenched infantry unit here that can help defend. And we can also place obstacles with an, the extra one, but I'm not going to bother spending that. We do have 450 points to add to our current unit, so I am going to bring in these BMP2s, which are my elite riflemen. I can also bring in the BMP1PKs, we'll definitely do that. I could bring in some more tanks, potentially, or some mortars. We haven't tried mortars yet, so I'll bring those in. And... We'll bring in some BMP-1Ps, I think. We'll bring in two sets of those. That will give us plenty of infantry, which we can use to flank and whatnot. Oh, got my two sets of artillery here, which will just take the liberty of moving up. 
I think if units are already within the circle, you can actually move them, whereas the ones outside I can't. Um, but I can give them orders after the deployment mode, so we can do that. Uh, these BMP2s I'm tempted to keep here, but I think we're just going to kind of move to the right. If they attack this, then we'll just take it back as we move to the left to get out of the map. So let's just confirm. We'll give these guys orders or to move to the right. We'll get the Shilkas over here. We'll get the Recon over here. And uh, all of this can move over here as well. And then I might just keep these back for the time being, just in case. All right, let's go. So you see all my units have got their orders. Now, one thing I haven't really mentioned much is like line of sight and how recon works. If I click on a recon unit, uh, let's see this one, uh, you'll be able to see two rings. The first ring is how far they can see in cover. And then the other is how far they can see units in the open. So that's what we can see there. And it's really, really useful to spot units as far away as you can, because the longer you look at a unit, the more you will reveal it over time. And the more you reveal it, the less penalty you have while shooting at it. Because accuracy actually suffers when you have less information. And there are some units here that we've got to deal with. Uh, so let's just be a bit careful about being too aggressive. Looks like these are just infantry. That's fine. Uh, let's grab my artillery. We need to deal with their artillery, really. I'm going to move up my shulker here. We'll get my one of these BMP ones to cover off the left. I'm going to change the mode on these and we're going to push across like so. I'll move these ones up so they can engage over here. Oh, those are mortars. Okay. That's what's attacking us. Now my mortars can also engage. Oh wow, they're taking a lot of damage. Retreat. It's quite a lot of units over here. I didn't really appreciate how many there would be. Wow, my T-64 got taken out on the way back. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to drop a napalm strike on this one that's closer. We push back the Leopard 105 there and the M106. I think my BMP2s have hit that with the HGM there. Right, so here we come with the napalm. Hopefully that will get the job done. And I'm going to move my BMP2s in to engage her. And then we did fall back the T-64, so we can probably do something with that. I'm not sure what that was. Be tempting to arty that. Quite a lot of artillery coming in there. We've destroyed a lot of units. I don't know if that one just fully died. Ooh, ouch. That did quite a lot of damage. Okay, what I'm going to do then is we're going to pull these back. I'm going to move my mortars because they're being hit by artillery. We're going to arty those now. We'll move back up onto the ridge. One thing I am going to do is bring in the supply here. So we'll move up the supply. I 
I would like to get the flank on if I can. Just reverse these up on the hill. No need to be that close. My artillery is not dislodging them very well. I'm a bit worried that one of those ancient gems is going to hit. Let's just have this move back with this and we'll move them round to the other side of the hill potentially. I am going to want to resupply all of these with H gems though. Oh, it looks like we dealt with them. Okay, good. Right, so we'll have the assault engineers move in on the right here and capture this hill. I'm going to move my BRM1K over here. We'll have these BMPs come back. They are being hit by, it looks like, mortar fire or artillery fire. We'll just get them all fixed up. I'm going to want to get my AA into a better position because at the moment it's not too great. So moving this over the other side, we'll see what we can find here. Mm, I'm not sure what that is. I guess it will tell us soon. Yes. Alright, with that all done, I'm actually going to grab uh, both of these. We're going to go and attack this hill from behind. I'm going to get these BMP1s to start moving to the right a bit more. I'm going to, of course, bring my leader with me. And I'm going to bring in one of my T64 units. We'll bring it in on the left. So those are Leopard 105s. We'll start hitting them with artillery. Yeah, the plan will be to capture Hill 124. We'll maybe go for the farm as well. A little bit greedy, but what we could do potentially is go for these two. Although we've got a counterattack with four to six platoons. It's quite a lot. Oh, there's quite a lot indeed. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is actually probably get set up for a counterattack. get the Sunny to move. If those are dug in units, I'm going to napalm them. And what we'll do in the meantime is we'll reverse. Because I think we can probably outrange them with the a to gems. Very good. Big artillery came in there, but we did manage to dodge it for the most part. Okay. Clean those out. I don't know where the the attack is coming from, the reinforcements that they are getting. I will change mode and we'll capture that. I'm going to move up here towards the farm. attack those again. I'm kind of assuming they're going to come on this side, but they might attack over here and we don't have any eyes. It'd be tempting to move something over there, but it would also be risky to move something on its own.
Ooh, retreat. That's not good. That's like point blank. That is point blank. Zone captured. The HQ unit there is being kind of repaired on the go, so should be able to take that out. Nice. Well, Hill 91 is being captured. Okay. Um, not quite sure how I want to do this. We might just move in here. I'm going to unload these and we're going to attack move through the trees. Zone lost. We have a unit behind us here. Which we're shooting in the back. At close range, the engineer should be pretty good here. Let's move the sunny. Good. My engineers did a great job. Let's move through and take the farm. We do have this strong point that might help us out, but I'm going to bring in an extra BMP 1P there just to help us in case. We'll probably get rid of those quite easily. Oh, there's another unit. That we're going to have to deal with. What is that? Another two to four reinforcements. Wow, okay. I think we dealt with that unit on the right there. Moving up to the farm. Seems like potentially a bad idea now. I'm really hoping that they just come down here or something. At the moment they haven't. I've not got eyes on them. The Leopard 105s are really being very... Resilient. This is probably the best word for it right now. Great. Okay, they're finally gone. I am going to have to move more stuff to the left again. I think what I'll do is we'll move these like so. So they get in the point. We're going to have to capture this back. We've only got six minutes to do it. Once that gets taken, they might attack downward. So I'm going to try and get my BMP ones up there. I'm going to probably napalm whatever this is. I'm almost tempted to move up the Shilka in the meantime. Okay, yeah, they've brought up some units here. What we're going to do is we're going to... We'll leave those there to capture that. I need to bring this back. These need to run. These are two A1s. Zone captured. Oh, 
Right, we'll go capture that. Bring these back over to the supply. And the key here is going to be to get these kind of like entrenched before they actually have to engage. The strong point there is fine for now. Five minutes remaining. Get those unloaded. I'm going to try and move up this BRM 1K because we're going to need all the vision we can get. Those are going to have to retreat. I think they're coming back for this BMP 1P. Hopefully. Zone captured. Gonna be in position. Oh, there was Panzergrens there. That's not good. Okay, let's move back. I think that was the other counterattack has come in on this right hand side. Don't know what those are, but they look pretty nasty. Oh, it's not even that bad. That might be a waste. Let's focus these. Right, these assault engineers are very good in the close range engagement, so I'm going to get my BMP-1 PKs out of there. We'll have the assault engineers move in to engage those at close range. got killed. That's not good. I might have to retreat this. I'll retreat that. Looks like the Shilker's got it. Okay, cool. Alright, let's capture that objective. We just about managed to hold out there. That's pretty good. I think my tank's just about held the ground as well. So I think I can possibly go back and take this. It looks like we're not going to have enough time to take more ground in this phase. Now I can probably take back well at east. We've taken the hill, we've taken these two. Maybe going back on myself was a bit of a waste of time. Bring in my men again. Get them back to the front for the next phase. One minute remaining. A BRM one K unit got completely destroyed. Is not the best move. I 
think we've pretty much wiped out everything they have there, so I've just got to try and capture as many points as possible. As quickly as possible. We only have 14 seconds left though, so it doesn't look like we're going to get much further. I'll just let those be repaired. Although actually, it might not be worth repairing them at the end of the battle, because I think they get fully repaired after the phase. I guess we'll find out, because that's phase two concluded. We didn't manage to actually get to the next stage, uh, which is not ideal. But we definitely got ourselves a lot more operational authority. By taking the farm on that right-hand side, you see that we boosted it a lot, which means we can bring ourselves in some serious reinforcements. I don't think there's anything I particularly need to fully reinforce here. So we're not going to bother with any of that. What I can do, however, is grab another task force. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm pretty tempted to bring in the armored task force because TATs would be great for going up against all these leopards we keep bumping into. The other one that might also be useful is the Mi-24Ps. Those could be very nice for taking on tanks as well, but we'd have to upgrade one of these the whole way. And this one's cheaper, and it would get ourselves the same point. I think these are nice because they get the Rifleman plus extra AT units, which is really useful for us. Well, the extra BRM1Ks for more recon would also be pretty good. But I think the BMP, BMB, BMD, sorry, 2s, uh, they have VDV in them, which actually have air defense and only three riflemen with the laws, whereas the BTR-70s here have anti-tank medium-specific troops. So I think that would actually be better. We're going to grab this, and it's also going to give us an artillery barrage. So we'll get Tambov, and we're going to upgrade it twice. That's going to give us access to the Mi-24P. Could also be worth uh, maxing out Damask. Just going to double check that. That would give us the Sunny six per card. I don't think so. I am going to probably grab some more supply. Uh, but that is about it. We'll leave it with the extra 50 again. And now all we need to do is get to the next stage. So that's what we're going to try and do ASAP. All right, let's go to events. And I will take the extra barrage. We already have barrage though, technically. But yeah, that's fine. Let's jump on in. We'll have two sets of barrage and we'll have one napalm. New objective received. So our deployment is much bigger than before, as you can see. And we have loads of tactical aid that we can bring in. The one that we get from the card is cheap. The one that we get from the task force is more expensive. As you can see, these are all uh, dug in units that we get by default. Uh, these actually need supply. I might just retreat these off the bat. We don't, can't really bring in anything else for the time being, so we're just going to chill, let it go. Uh, I'll retreat these, and uh, we'll move up over here. All of these can head up to Solgrund Grove. All right, so we'll fast move those. I'm going to get my BRMs to move up there. These can retreat. Zone captured. Yes. Well, the plan is going to be to get up into here, I think. I 
I would like my recon on the right, but I think keeping an eye on the left would be better for any counterattacks. Now it looks like in the end I might end up taking all of the uh, sectors, which wasn't really an intention, but kind of just happened. I thought taking these two would be easier than it was, and it kind of wasted a lot of time in the last phase, because they had units that were still dug in there. Actually, I'm going to move this over here. Having recon with my units is actually super important so that we can attack. I think it's more important for attack than defense. Kind of tempted to bring in the MI-24Ps. But we'll have to be very careful. Or oh, they come around behind me. We'll just retreat those. Those are AA pieces. We'll retreat those. There is a Gepard there as well, yeah, it's just as well I didn't bring in any. Didn't bring in any aircraft because that would have ended really badly. I'm going to sneak up on those leopards. Are we going to want to retreat these from the 2A1s? And I'm actually going to smoke this. So that we can engage these better. Although those are going to fall back as well. And big bombs coming in. I might pop down an artillery barrage on that area. Use our free tactical aid. I'm just gonna move these because I don't want them to be hit by that artillery. This needs to be on hold fire. It looks like they're falling back, so we're managing to get some good hits in there. Nice, kill them all. Kill them all. I think we got it. Okay, we need to get our troops back in uh, since we retreated loads of them. I'm going to bring some AT guys over here. And we killed a lot of AA, but I'm, I'm not convinced that they don't have more. I need my supply to come back in as well. And another HQ section. I guess I could bring them in just to see what they're like. Because I've never used helicopters. Like, how do they control? more. Yeah, there's more anti-air there. <laughs> Looks like I was right. Uh, 
Giving them forwards like that is a bit risky. I think what I might do with this one is I might just move them all the way around the edge. We just go come over here and go that way. I can probably come all the way around here and then we can flank anything that we need to. Kind of what I was trying to do with the BMPs here. Zone captured. Oh, these are holding us up. That's okay. I wondered where all my troops got to. We'll have these BMP2s move up here. I'm going to try and get my supply to res basically resupply the T-64s here. So that they are full health. We can probably get the BMP-2s sorted as well. I'm going to try and move up here so that we can see whatever was hidden. We put these on return fire, or hold fire, and what we can do when we spot them is just like make sure we don't fire the HGMs, and then be entrenched by the time we engage. I could also napalm strike them, see if there's any more AA. some there. That was perfect though. We're actually not in line of sight here, which is unfortunate. At least I don't think we are. We made those fall back. It looks like the AA was here somewhere, so we'll be able to clean those out. Oh, that was Panzergren, so okay. So it was like a... Interesting. Uh, let's actually move one of these into cover as we get a bit closer I can drop my artillery barrage on that actually, let's do that make sure I use that tactical aid We're actually losing out pretty bad there. Have them fall back. Oh, and it looks like we've kind of been counterattacked here. Oh, 
Are we managing to fix those? I don't think we are. We have managed to suppress them, which is good. We're actually going to move through at close range and engage them. I'm surprised how much damage 1A5s do to T64s. I'm going to retreat those because they're getting pretty low. I've got my assault engineers coming in close range soon. Nice, we are annihilating them with the BMP2s there. Very good. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's just make sure that we're resupplying that. These can stay up there. That can get into resupply range. Not sure what that is. And we'll just drop a napalm strike on it. Currently have seven minutes left to get to the next stage. We'll let these heal up. Get sorted or repair. Not heal. <laughs> it kind of sounds weird when you say that. Um, and then we'll move on. Alright, we'll move these across, capture that, and this needs to keep moving round. Just making sure they are in the right stance. All right, let's capture this. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere there where I can actually um, dig in. Sure. Haven't really had a chance to use the MI-24s yet. Oh, might be a good chance over here. Oh, we did a lot of damage, but we're taking a lot of damage. So I can potentially come in from the flank here. I'm going to use this artillery barrage. It might have actually been a good place to put the TBM strike because I haven't used that yet. Alright, what's the range on these? Let's find out. I don't know what the line of sight has to be. Five minutes remaining. Oh, okay, interesting. Looks like they're using their own helicopters. I don't have my shulkers over here, do I? Do I have my shulkers at all? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, we can bring in the shulkers on this left side with the BMPs. Alright, let's move them back across again. I might as well retreat these, they're not useful anymore. Can they drop smoke on me? I might just TBM this, let's just TBM it. I haven't used it on anything else, and if I can take that point, we get 125 extra points to work with. Our operational authority. Ooh, 
Ooh, I wonder if the TBM strike can kill... Oh, we just lost two of those moving that force. Can kill helicopters. Oh, it can. <laughs> it definitely can. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> just blew them out of the sky. <laughs> I wish I'd seen did on that. That was incredible. Nice, these are doing a good job. <laughs> Alright, we lost a couple of tanks, but overall I think we did pretty well there. That was a lovely TBM stroke. Best one we've had so far. Helicopters generally seem pretty weak. Uh, mainly because most infantry units have some form of AA. For, so for example, these riflemen in the BMP-2s have two air defense missiles. Uh, I don't think these do, the AT ones, but they are an exception. But we captured everything except this one. I don't think we need to capture that one. We could try. We do still have some tactical aid we can use. I think I'm going to leave those there, though. Bring these across. Zone captured. Looks like we caught them out in the flank. Got some one oh fours. I'm gonna pull these around the flank like so. We'll push these forwards so we can see what we can find. Push those forwards directly. Uh, the left 105s, it's okay. Let's napalm those. Ooh. Ouch. They just... They bombed! <laughs> no, they did it too. They used their airstrike to bomb my helicopters. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> Shoot down my my aircraft. Oh, there goes one of them. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Well, I'm just going to back up from that. Because there is no point in engaging them there. I just thought it would be fun to try. We'll just speed it up for the end. Lovely. Alright, I think we did pretty well on that. We definitely killed a ton of stuff. And we barely lost anything. We did lose the two T-64s to the uh, hel helicopters there. We lost a supply truck to a Leopard 2A1. But otherwise, we that was very one-sided. All right, let's go on to the next phase. So with that done, uh, we have got an extra 250 or, well, I would say an extra 200 or operational authority. And now we can move on to the next stage. So we just click here and first stage is done. Move on to the next stage, great. Um, from here, we need to basically complete this objective in the next like two or three turns and then we got to have at least two phases remaining I think for the hornet's nest so that we can defend. So this is what we're going to be doing next. Currently we have our 60 victory points we're going to be able to get another 90 from the Kirkchain Air Force Base and then if we hold I believe in during hornet's nest then we can get to the total victory and that's what we're probably going to go for. Uh, we'll see if we can get it I, I don't know if I will or not because I'm kind of Obviously messing around a little bit with some of these units, but yeah, there you go. Another look at uh, two phases this time 
of Operation Firebird. Uh, we'll be back with the fourth phase in the next episode or the next part of this look at the regiment's operations playtest. And uh, once again, just want to say, like, I'm really, really impressed with it so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, I really, really find the single player uh, content that they've given us here uh, really, really awesome. And um, it'd be interesting to see how it's uh, developed and what else they can bring. Because obviously this is just the Soviet forces. Uh, they, of course, you can play entirely with the NATO forces as well. So that would be fun to try out, especially with like the whole different task forces maybe they'll add more task forces and stuff like that and there's so much they can add to this game mode it's really really awesome but that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye yeah,